Okay, Bino Black, folks. I'm basically directly from Lasco and Hilo Viewer. Okay, now we're going to go look at, the, at this video full blast. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to see some stuff moving along here. And we're going to, I've got pictures, uh, we'll zoom in on it. And basically, the sun always rotates to the right. And so everything else is going to rotate to the right normally in our solar system. Well, around the sun, okay? Everything that we know in the Milky Way galaxy close to us, okay? Actual factual, we're going to have some items that we normally somewhat see from, and I'll be able to take you to the government, uh, the Navy shot tonight, and we'll go to a fresh shot here in a minute. But now, let's go ahead and hit play on this, and you're going to see an object moving along here, and I'll, i got some zoomed in shots of it. We can take a look at already that I zoomed in on it. Now, as you can see, this here, and as you can even plainly see from a far distance that it has some things falling around it. Now, you would figure that it's a planet that's rotating around, but as you can see, this here is rotating to the counterclockwise. Now, that's not Venus, okay? It's not Venus. And even if crazy enough, if it is, then we're going to get a real good look at it. And it's not Venus, because I'll prove it it's not Venus, because Venus will be bigger, because we're going to end up zooming in on this object here. Now, what I end up zooming in on is this object right here that is very large looking for us, and we can see it real good, okay? Now, we know that we've got that massive size piece that's around in these videos, okay? But I've got some zoomed in shots of this here, and I got zoomed in shots of this here item here. Now, let's hit play. And I'm going to stop it because you're going to see this thing. It's moving to counterclockwise, just like Venus. So no matter what, this here has to be related to Venus somehow, okay? Because basically it's doing, well, that's, okay, Venus rotates right around the sun. Everything that we know of around here, the only thing is Venus rotates in the opposite direction. That Earth and everything else, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, okay? This here object here just lackadaisically just walks right along past our star that it has our magnetical. It goes right past a lot of stuff that would be normally rotating around the sun in our magnetical. Now check this out. It just cruises on by, right? It's gone. Now I'm not even caring the days and time. I've got the blown up bigger that will show us the date. This is recent because this was in the last 10, 12, 24 hours, because I took this off Healy Viewer tonight, okay? So basically, you see that mo object move on, and you see these other objects move on, okay? And they're not rotating right around the sun, okay? Now, I'll start it up again, and you can see that object right there, just cruise on by, okay? And let's go back to it, cruising on by, and you can pretty much see that it's got some stuff rotating around, rotating around it, okay? So, and we remember the size of the sun is huge, okay? So the idea that Earth wouldn't even look this big, okay? So we come back, and I'll hit play again, and you can see that's our object there. And then we have this other object up here that we're going to take a look at, okay? So let's go to the pictures. Okay, we'll get out of this window. Now here's our factual actual. I put it ahead and pasted it in onto, and I don't touch up these shots at all. And then you have a star right there. And everything in space puts off the same size shadow as itself. Okay? And then you, so you have a, right here a star. Okay? That's the shadow of this star here. We have that zoomed in. And then we can go ahead and zoom in some more. Now, as you're sitting here, you, you sit your head back and you can see that this is a planet right here that's following that star right there. Okay? And it's going by our sun at a massive distance, don't get me wrong, these cameras can see hella far out in space, okay? But it cruised right by our magnetical field of the sun, okay? And then we have this basically more than likely is a planet, and more than likely its shadow is here out in front of it, and more than likely this is a planet. And remember, we've seen objects rotating, right? Now, I'm even somewhat at a loss whether which one I'm looking at right now, whether this is the bigger one. No, actually I'm not because I'm going to show you. There's a footprint on the one that went cruising by, OK? 
Okay, this is the one that's sitting up there, sitting pretty much still by the sun, as I was pointing to the upper one. So there's a star up there, and there's a planet. You can see here that more than likely this is the planet right here, and this is the star. And there you go. And it basically it's sitting up there by the sun, and there's lots of them up there by the sun. Okay, and they're not confirmed to be Pythagoras or anything like that because otherwise NASA would mark them. Now we can zoom in on this a little bit more here. You can zoom right in on it. You can get the actual factual that more than likely this is a planet right here and its shadow is out here in space. Because that's the shadow of that star right there. Okay, and then I can zoom down and we will go ahead and go to another. Now this is our object that cruised right through the sun's magnetical force okay cruise right by and it's huge because everything out there is huge because the idea that the Sun is so large okay now we'll zoom in on this and what you're gonna end up seeing is there's four stars or at least two no matter what but it sure looks like four because they're bright and you can't miss that right there and actually when I come away a little bit you can even see the resemblance just a little bit better right about right there four stars or it's one huge star but it's don't matter what it's a star and it's just cruising by within so many hours on that footage just recently off Healy Healy Viewer but it sure looks like at least four stars Doesn't it look like four stars, ladies and gentlemen? Either that or it's one huge sun. Because the sun is a star. Okay, and then it just goes cruising by the electrical magnetical field of the sun. Okay, and it has these other objects around it. Rotating around it. So it's got planets. Small planetoids or something going around it. Now I do believe I got a shot of this thing. But it basically it's got a total different footprint than what we had and basically I took it over to to and actually what I'll do right now I'll pull this over to paint real fast for you and then we can zoom in on it a little bit more put it up there like that and we can zoom in on it some more and there you go see the same thing I'm pretty much picking you up on that and you get you can we can keep on zooming in on it and it has a total different footprint than that object that's sitting up by the Sun by sit, just sitting up there you get the actual that there is at least and if, if anything one of these days this will be a planet right there probably dying out and it will be sitting around by three stars because you can't miss that those are stars Either that or you're going to tell me that, okay, that that's one star cruising by. But let's go back to the video real quick. Now, you can do the same thing as me. And no matter what, that's that object right there as you see it cruise by. And as you see the clock ticking down here to the left, and no matter what, it's rotating counterclockwise. So it's not a planet known to us in our normal 360 degrees of the Sun because nothing rotates counterclockwise of the Sun that we know of and no it's not a comet because a comet would go flying by and we've seen comets that go cruising into the Sun and by it and so forth as you matter of fact you're seeing stuff right here as we got a CME that's coming off the Sun and everything like that's dramatic but check that out because these CMEs are putting enough light off that we get good enough shots of these items to come by. Now, real quick, we'll get back to the front and basically I can just go like this. And I believe that's our object. I might be wrong on this here, but let me hit play. Nope, that's our object right there. That's our object that we watch go cruising by the sun counterclockwise, okay? And basically what I did on the other object that I moved in, the other star and more than likely a planet, and it pretty much stays there like these ones do here, and this one here, and this here. That stuff is pretty much around the sun, 
magnetically locked up by the sun, more than likely behind it. Okay, these are more than likely behind the sun, but in the electrical magnification, the lock in of the sun in our Oort cloud outside of the sun. Watch, remember my last video, I showed you the Oort cloud that's outside the sun. So no matter what, this stuff is around by the sun. This here, and then I'll go to the live shot tonight. Now I'll pull this back real fast. And we've been looking at this item here that comes cruising across around counterclockwise by the sun through our Milky Way galaxy and by the sun in its magnetical field. And we have a lot of stuff from Neptune, Pluto on that Pluto down on to Mars and us and Mercury and so forth and so on and such. So hit play on this real fast. And there it goes, our little item and all this other stuff sticks around. All this stuff sticks around just like I'm going to show you on a live shot right now. If they just show us everything, I wouldn't take a look, but that's this is what caused me to take a look. And then this is our most freshest here. And basically, we zoom in on this. This is really easy to go in on this stuff. And we, we've got plenty of stuff that we've seen here before, and we love the Navy. We love all of our military. And we go in here, and we look at all of our wild stuff that get remnants that we know are up by the sun all the time. Now, this stuff can be hella far out, and these are getting to be pretty famous. We know these here, and they're dark, okay? They're there. They're not stars or planets. There are remnants or huge objects too because this, the earth, earth is not even that flipping large, okay? Earth is like a little speck on the sun here, okay? And as you see, you get to see the sun with pretty much all the lens off. And I'm even starting to wonder if the sun actually has a little bit of a lemonish to it and this is part of the magnetical on it and a remnant that's there. Because normally the other shots usually put the lens arm in and this might be the lens arm down to the least amount. We won't know until we even can ever get somebody to honestly tell us from NASA and from Navy and everything like that. Sechi. Okay, now these things are all huge planetoids that they're out there. And basically that one object that we're showing you up by the sun is more than likely one of these. It might actually even be like this here object here or one of these there. The one that sits up there by the sun all the time pretty much and does a nice slow rotation around the sun. Yeah, this is Lasco C2. And then basically, we've got this famous remnant here we know of over here. I kind of call it the wishbone myself because it's always there. And yeah, now I can't slide my slider. Why is that? Should have my slider back now. We move over and that's kind of like the wishbone that's always up there. And that's, that flipping thing is huge. This thing is probably bigger than Jupiter. And it's been getting eat, eaten and gnawed away by the sun for years, millions, millions, zillions. Okay, so we've got these tons of stuff up here that's really, and these are really cool objects. They, they're always there. And as you can see here, these are huge planets that are out there. Okay, now they are hella far out. I have no problem with that. But we can see them because the actual factual, they are there in the shot. And they're basically these here. So they're great shots from NASA and also from HelioViewer. And let's go back to our movie up there by the sun. And what it is is a conglomeration of shots. So this got uploaded by HelioViewer and we also thank NASA and everything like that. And this is basically, this is the same footage the objects in here and it goes cruising by and as you see they were trying to block some of the stuff if you see how the strips are going by they're trying to block something of us being able to see something now here's cruiser it's our four star cluster and basically I've been saying wrong through the video basically earth and everything rotates counterclockwise around the Sun okay and the Sun rotates counterclockwise okay this thing comes by clockwise okay it comes by clockwise goes straight across and this is the one that we zoomed in on to the basically a star and more than likely a planet right up here by the Sun and it just hangs out up there okay and there's a little there's a star that means it's a Sun and there's a planet right there and it's always there and all this stuff is here too now watch cruiser as he just cruises by from the 14th through I think the 17th okay and I'll hit pause okay and that's cruiser right there and what is it the 15th and then it's what the 15th still and watch cruiser and we'll just watch cruiser cruise away and there he went cruiser okay and I can pull it back real fast with some since we got some tape time and you'll see cruiser come in here there's cruiser and watch cruiser cruise right by the magnetical field because that's just as close as what Jupiter and Mars and everything looks like when we always see it okay somewhat and it went right by our magnetical. So we can see the outside magnetical of the sun. That's got to be the farthest out that the magnetical of the sun is because that thing just cruised by and did not get caught by the magnetical of the sun. Okay? Cruiser. 
missed the magnetical field and is just far.